Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Fusion Core Game Pass in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you need to do is click the top link in the description. It'll take you to the page for this model. Just click Get and add it to your inventory. And then load into your game in Roblox Studio. Now, once you're in the game, we need to make sure we've got the toolbox open. So if you don't already have it open, go to the View tab at the top and click on Toolbox. And then make sure you're on the My Models tab, so that's this one. And then just find the Fusion, Fusion Coil Game Pass and click on it. If this window pops up, just click OK. And then you can close out the toolbox. Now, just drag this Fusion Coil into Surfscript Service and double click on it. So here you can see that we need a Game Pass ID. So first of all, we need to make a Game Pass before we can put this in. So to make a Game Pass, just find your games page on the Roblox website. You can do that by going to the Create tab at the top and then finding your game. So mine's testing place too, so I'm just going to click on the start place. And now we need to make the game pass, so if you go to the store tab and click on add pass. So first you need to add an image, so click choose file, and then choose whichever image you want. So I can just choose this one, and then give your game pass a name, so I'm just going to call it fusion coil. Then if you'd like to, you can give it a description, and then just click preview, and click verify upload. There you go, it says pass successfully created. We can now find our game pass here and you just click on it. And now we need to put it on sale. So how you can put it on sale is just click these three dots, click configure, and then go to sales. And then now we want to turn on item for sale and give it a, an amount, so a price, so other users can purchase it. So if I just make it 50 Robux, I can click save. You'll get 70% of whatever this price is because Roblox takes 30%. Then, once you've saved this, just click go to details. And now we can get the Game Pass ID. So, in the URL bar at the top, you want to copy this number. So, if you just highlight it, you can then right click and click copy. This is the Game Pass ID. So, now if we go back to Roblox Studio, in this script, we can then replace this number, right click, paste, insert this Game Pass ID, and now we can close out this Fusion Coil script. We now though need to make sure of two things. The first one is we need to go into the starter player and make sure character use jump power is set to true. If this isn't set to true, when you use the fusion coil the character won't get a jump boost. And now we just need to make sure that studio can actually use marketplace service to check if we have the game pass. So to do that go into settings, go down to security and make sure enable studio access to API services is on. If it's off, just turn it on and click save. So now we can play test the game, so just click on play. You'll be able to see when we load in, because I own the game pass, I get the uh, fusion coil, and I'm running faster, and I'm jumping higher. But if you want to make yourself run faster or jump higher than the default values, how we can make the player move at a different speed or jump a different height, you can go into the fusion coil tool in the fusion coil script, you can then go into fusion script, so double click on it, and then on line 6 and 7, you want to change these values. So for example, I can change walk speed to 32 and jump power to 100. Again, only change the values on line 6 and 7. This is what it's setting it back to when you unequip the tool. You can change this to whatever you like. Now I'll just change walk speed to 100 and jump power to 500 to show you that I've changed it. So now if I click play, you can see that when I equip it, I'm walking loads faster and jumping loads higher than I was previously. So you can again, you can change that number to whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. I could, I recommend, or I usually use 32 and 100, so 32 for walk speed and 100 for jump power, but it could be whatever you like. So, that was how you can make a Fusion Coil Game Pass in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.